Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Flexif Video Editor. So there's going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering how do you start using Flexip here, which in this case is a platform for you to start editing your videos. Well, the first thing that we need to do here is we need to visit their official website, which is going to be flexclip.com. Now, in their official website, we need to start creating an account to, for us or in order for us to start using the platform itself. Now, typically at the top right of your screen, you have the login or sign up option. So let's go ahead and click on the login sign up. And from here, let's go ahead and choose the option here that says continue with Google. But if you want to create your account manually, you can go ahead and enter your email address here and click on continue with email. But in this case, I'm going to use my Google account, choose my email here, and from here, click on continue. Now, once I've done that, it's going to start the in or initiate the process of us logging in. Now, from the dashboard or the main home screen on the Flexip editor here, we first have to discuss what are the items or what is what are the pages that we could actually visit. Now, here in our home page, as you can see on the left pa panel here, we have the home page. You will be able to see different templates that you could use for video editing. Now, Flexip here is actually a platform for you to rapidly create videos from templates, meaning you could uh, basically just start creating your videos here, just replace some elements and you are good to go now in this case this is going to be the home page which in this case again you'll be able to see your recent projects your templates that you could use here and recently added templates that you could use for your projects now if you want to go to my projects here this is where you'll be able to see your projects now the good thing about flexip here is you have the capabilities of actually organizing your projects or videos into folders as you can see at the subsection here we have the folder section so maybe i want to create a new folder here let's just click on the add new folder and we want to name this as a sample folder and in this case let's go ahead and click on confirm and that should create our folders now in this case we have the my template section here but this is for premium users so you could at least save up to 10 templates share templates with others for editing create videos with templates effectively now if you want to utilize the my template section here you need to upgrade your pad now here we have our favorites here here so in this case this will you'll be able to see different templates or sources videos images audios elements effects that you really really like now in this case again this will be uh will, will actually contain all your favorite items now we also have these cloud storage here which in this case you will have a capabilities of saving files online in case something went wrong into your pc and you'll be able to access many of your, your files online without actually having the uh, the storage itself on your PC. Now, meaning you could basically start editing anywhere if you have the cloud storage here. Now, we also have the My Phone section here, but it again is going to be a premium. So you need to, uh, you need to upgrade your plan here for you to start using it. Now, you also have the capabilities of creating teams here. Like for example, uh, if you want to have someone work on the same video or you have multiple videos for one project that you need to work on, you can add them as a team member here. Now, in this case, uh, we want to start creating our video. Now, to do that, what we need to do is we just need to go to the My Project section here. And from here, click on the Create a Video option and choose the format that you want to create your video. Now, with the versatility of Flexkip here, you can actually create a, a videos for YouTube, for TikTok, for Instagram, Facebook videos, or even vi uh, the widescreen uh, video here, which is usually for uh, movies. Now, in this case, I just want to create a very simple video here, which is a 16 by 9 uh, size here, and just click on Get Started. Now, once we've done that, it should actually load up our editor here. As you can see, we need to upload our uh, media first. In this case, let's go ahead and click or basically look at our uh, folders here and see if we can actually uh, use one of the videos that I have. So currently, I have a video here, not this one. I have this video here that I want, start, I, want to do, I want to start using. Now, in this case, what I need to do is I just need to press and hold on it and just drag it into the import media section here. And if you want to add another video in it, what you need to do is just uh, drag it again into the media section here. Now, before we discuss and actually editing on the timeline here that you see at the very bottom, we want to first discuss what are the elements or tools that we could use. So we have the text section here that we could basically use to add text. But before that, I want to add this video here. So from your media here, make sure that you drag it into your timeline for you to start using it. 
Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we want to add our text. Let's go to text here. And as you can see, there's going to be a number of text that you could actually use here. Now, in this case, these are templates, which is something really, really cool if you want to rapidly add text into your design. So, for example, I want to use this one. But if you want to add a basic text, you could go ahead and click on this one. As you can see, we were able to add it. Now, in this case, you could just double click on it to change the text itself. So, maybe I want to say, hi, how are you? Something uh, uh, like this. Now, in this case, you could just add whatever that you want to add here. Now, if you want to add a template type of text, you could go ahead and click on the modern title text here uh, for, for you to start adding that. Now, this is going to be something, uh, a group. So, in this case, you'll be able to move them around as long as you create or uh, click on the group itself. Now, as you can see, this, this, this is the text that we have right now. But if you want to change a few things on your text, whenever you click on it, make sure that you highlight the fir text first. And you'll be able to change the font of family here, even the font size, make it bigger, make it smaller, change the color on it. Like, for example, you want to make this uh, indigo. You can make it bold, italic, or even make it lower lowercase if you want to. Even change the alignment and the formatting here if you want to, the spacing and line height. Now, if you want to add animation in it, you can basically uh, click on it and as you can see, these are the elements or the uh, animations that we can add. Like, for example, we want to add a fade here. So whenever it actually uh, zooms in, so let's just, uh, let me just show you what it looks like. As you can see, there's the animation there. And same thing with the uh, title or word in title or the template title that we have right now, or we've just recently added. It also has that animation. Now we also have the subtitle setting here, which in this case, uh, there was actually this will actually help you add subtitles into your videos. So we all know adding subtitles can be something really helpful and uh, increases our uh, view or our reach. Now we also have the video section here, which in this case would contain stock videos that we could use. But for example, if you want to add this section here, you just basically add that video and it's going to be added automatically. Now, by the way, if you want to zoom out from your timeline, you could just click on the minus icon here. And if you want to change the length of your video, you could just basically move it around the edges here. Now, if you want to cut the video on a specific section, you go ahead and go to that section that you want to cut and choose the trim, trim icon here. Now, also, you have the option to uh, make it duplicate or even delete the other sections that you want. For example, uh, let's go ahead and apply this one. Just press on enter to cut that and as you can see, we were able to trim that specific section. Now, if you want to delete this specific section here, you could go ahead and just cl click on the delete here. If you want to undo that, press on control Z on your keyboard. And we also have the add scene section here, which in this case, is going to add a black screen. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and do that. Now, in this case, I just want to delete this one, delete the first section as well. And from here, when we go to images, uh, from the name itself, you could basically start using images on your videos, which is something really cool, especially if you want to add placeholders on it. Now, if you want to add music or any audio to uh, to your project, you could choose the audio here and just basically drag it into the audio section at the very bottom and even position it whenever you want, where you want to actually start, make it start. Now, in this case, we also, also have the elements here, which in this case would contain uh, shapes, uh, socials, uh, uh, GIFs so you want to use, Giphy, masking if you want to. So masking is something really helpful, especially if you uh, want to uh, basically add like specific medias. Like for example, I want to add a layer of, let's just uh, try adding a new one here. Let's just go to images. So maybe I want to add this one. So I could just basically add videos or photos into the masking section as you can see right now. So this is the elements here. So elements has a lot of uses here. It could you could add frames into your videos or your photos. Also have the arrows here, the bubble, uh, promos, business, and a lot more. So depending on what you need or what on what type of video that want you uh, create, you can just basically choose it from here. Now in this case, we also have the effects here, which in this case, this is our great way for you to add or basically make things all interesting for you. Like for example, I want to add this one. So let's just add it in here So choose this one. So since we added that, we could go ahead, just press on play. As you can see, we now have that effect, which is something really, really cool. 
Now, also have the tools here, which in this case, you'll be able to use or basically utilize the uh, AI power tools that they have or other tools that they have. So they have the AI video generator here, AI image generator, AI video script, text to speech, and a lot more. So you can also record your vo voice here if you want to. So just in case that you want to create a presentation, you can rapidly create one via this tool here, via the vo record voice option. Now, in this case, those are the things that you could do here and the basics of actually using the uh, tool here for Flexip. In this case, you could go ahead and just resize or make it a, long longer, a lot longer or even make it a lot uh, less here or make it shorter. And yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.